The 2022.3 version of SA includes an updated total station toolbar. This is uh, specifically for the total, like a total station interface, and I'm going to demonstrate that with the MS60 today, just to give you a quick run through of what it can do, and why you might prefer just simply using this little toolbar. So uh, first of all, it's a little bit sleeker and smaller than the full interface. So if I wanted to switch between them, I can. This little button on the right allows you to move out to the full interface for access to specialty items, such as if I wanted to do a Nova scan with this MS-60. But for most total station operations, just simply docking it into toolbar mode gives you all the controls you really need and a much more slim design for working with NSA. So let's take a look at what we have. So on just kind of working from left to right, on the left we have the beam state, so that's the, the status of the beam. But it also allows you to acquire. So if you are looking to lock onto a reflector or a tape target, you can press the acquire button and it'll search. At the same time, we have the power of search left and right buttons down on this side. We also added a reverse face button uh, along with our ability to turn on and off the laser. And in the middle, you have the ability to control the point name and target name, as well as the reflector that you're using. So the reflector is also a, a list. You can access any of the defined targets, and you can also go down here to define new target, which allows you to add your own. So it'll immediately bring up our full database of targets, and you can go in here and add your own. So I can, for example, select a reflector and say add a copy here, and then I can rename it, and we'll just call this test2. And let's say we want to change the constant to something like 14, I don't know. Anyway, um, that defines a new target, but this is the definition which includes the constant definition. So from it, you need to build a target that you'll use for measurement, so you simply select it and say add from selected reflector and then you can add any tooling or offsets you want to include so you can just use a, a default probe or set it as a, an SMR which in this case I think I, I'm just going to add it like that and as soon as I do that you'll see that my SMR changes to the new one I have the new constant and I have the diameter that I added because I defined it as an inch and a half reflector the uh, the list then expands and includes the new reflector and I can go back to my reflector list so that I can just uh, continue to monitor wherever my beam is at the moment. The measurement controls have also been updated. So if I want to take a single point measurement, for example, all I need to do is set the name I want to use, the reflector I want to use, and then push this measure button. And you'll see that the beam then uh, processes and it goes ahead and takes a measurement. The measurement uh, can be also adjusted using a right-click menu. So if you right-click, you'll see we have fast, standard, or precise control. We've added the ability to do an angles-only measurement for people who want to use a, a total station like a theodolite for some reason. And we have the full front-back uh, checkbox, so you can do a front-back face measurement as well. So these measurements are all there for both single and uh, stable point, so you have that control. And we also have a control for spatial scan if you wanted to monitor the movement of an object uh, through space or measure a series of points, you can use a spatial scan as well. So these are the primary controls for basic measurement operations. There's one more here. This is the tracking control. And tracking is something that uh, used to be on by default. We've turned it off just to save battery. But basically the idea is that if I were to right click on the instrument and say add watch window, or for example, if I want to add a watch window on another object, it'll simply go gray because there's no active measurements being taken at the moment. But if you want to constantly monitor something, you can turn on tracking. And that is just an on-off toggle. So if I were to click on it and uh, activate it, you'll see it change. And my tracker will start beeping and I will continue to get updates, live updates from the instrument. So that's the advantage of the tracking, and you can just turn that off if you don't want it to monitor anymore, and the watch window will reflect that change in status. So we talked briefly about power search for targets. I also have a level compensator control, 
and we have a series of controls in here as well. So your your settings, you can change the tilt compensation. You can actually adjust a power search region to search within a, a certain zone. So we have pretty much full control over the instrument as well as its properties. So you can go in and see what the air temperature is set to, that sort of thing. And we did add the ability to link this total station to an external uh, temperature sensor if you wanted to monitor temperature for some reason as part of the measurement process. So um, these are all things that are new within the new toolbar. Um, the last little icon that's sticking off here at the end is the camera. This camera drive control also allows you to drive the instrument's head. And one of the things we've done in this version is simplify uh, or improve the, the ability to, to control the position by just simply using the keyboard to drive the instrument. And if you have an MS-60 or a, a, or a camera-enabled uh, instrument, you can also use this camera button to go ahead and open up the, the camera for the instrument. And, uh, and you should have the video as well. So if we take a picture, we should be able to get a picture of my wall. Uh, anyway, but anyway, that's not a very exciting picture, but it gives you the idea. The, um, but that pretty much rounds out the controls for the toolbar. And again, if you need any additional controls, you can simply switch using this little icon at the top to the full interface, which gives you the full control over the instrument.